Well, hello everyone. This is Steve Yo, and we are a trucking. I know, I know. I do a little splurging from time to time, but I just ran upon a lot of money, so I had to buy a 389 Pete. This Pete screams America. I even sleep America. Who doesn't sleep in American sheets? Even though I ran upon a lot of money, I have to pay the bill somehow. I mean, you gotta pay the high tax rates and everything, so, uh, yeah. Have to, uh, haul some corn for the neighbors. Even with all the craziness in 2020, at least we had high corn prices, because, uh, think I would've went broke without them. Man, this thing screams down the highway. Good thing is, is I hauled all the contracted loads I needed to for the neighbors, so hopefully I can get back to my neglected farm. I hope I didn't take out that stop sign right there. Ooh, get on my side of the road there, huh? Surprised that car didn't honk at me. Yeah, these ro windy roads ain't the easiest with an 18-wheeler, let's just say that. So the best part of this game, you can play unrealistic, like me owning this beautiful shiny rig here. Or you can play realistic and own something like your own truck in-game. In real life, I just purchased a beautiful pickup truck. Now in-game, I get to have almost the exact same truck in game and in real life man i get to play it in rea in reality in virtual reality or game reality oh here we go uh, i always hate going through this ditch with this truck oh it's a nightmare well we get it Let me tell you, I didn't design this house well enough to support an 18-wheeler. It doesn't make the turns easiest. Just barely. Shut this beautiful rig off. We've been having problems getting this uh, deep ripper through all the trash through all the residue in the field, and I need to get our uh, mulcher back there, our John Deere mulcher, uh, to help out. Oh, man. Jim always has to outdo me. Look at this rig. Yes, Jim had to outdo me. He had to get the beautiful blue six-door. Look at that wheelbase. Wow. How long did they have to stretch that frame? Yes, he had to get his own fummins. I had the old red and chromed out fummins. Now he had to outdo me with that. Yeah, Jim. Outdo that truck now over there. Bet you can't do that, Jim. Oh, I guess we purchased this uh, 4755 uh, from... Not from our uncles, but we sold a lot of the equipment and everything and we ended up getting this for a good deal if I was gonna start out a farm from scratch in real life I probably would be looking pretty hard at one of these uh, old iron legends from John Deere's that or the 4440 over there you just can't beat them workhorses I understand they're not as comfy as all them new tractors out there but uh the new tractors also have a uh, higher uh, price tag. Oh, very close. All right, I think we made it. Now, thanks to Jim, we gotta scrape his old Ford here. Uh oh. oh watch, watch it, watch it. Oh, oh. Oh, it looks like we're going to have to uh, move the beast, Jim. Park this legend over here by the semi, I guess. Look at them two beasts. Whew. I have to say, I just love 
This semi. Yes, I know. I spent all my money on it. That trailer, that semi, it's okay to stare at it. It's just okay. Alright, enough gawking around. Let's get to work. Make sure we don't hit Gina here. Man, I cannot get anywhere in this farm. Ooh. Finally. Uh, just getting out of this farmyard is a challenge. So the last farmer we purchased this farm from uh, actually got a bad, lot of lot of hail damage. That might have been the downfall of his farm. This surgum here, he took an insurance claim off of. So uh, that has officially went through. And I just think there's too much residue here to uh, manage with the ripper. We definitely want to uh, put corn on this ground. I think I'm gonna grind it off here. Wow, does it make this John Deere scream. It is really grinding this up. All right, so I think I'm gonna uh, pass this off, put Jim in this tractor. So uh, hopefully I can get that ripper running here soon. Get this field ripped up. Oh, they grow up so fast. What am I saying? He's older than me. So we're going to get the 8310. The only issue is uh, we're having a hard time pulling this, uh, what is this, a nine shank ripper? Primarily because we don't have enough horsepower. We do have some front duels. I'm going to try that. Otherwise, all you guys would be screaming at your TVs or screens saying, put your duels on your tillage tractor. You're right. We need to get them on. So where are they at? They're around here somewhere. Oh, there they are in the back. All right, get this girl running here. I believe I need to, yeah, I need to get this uh, 4440 out of the way here. Start her up. Drive her over to the side here. Wagons. Come on, wagons. There we go. Believe that's enough room now. Alright. Get this girl over to our shop area in the back. Watch out for the bucket. Ooh. Ooh. Are we gonna have to unhook the ripper? I've been trying to zigzag this ripper in, but I think I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet and unhitch it. Good thing is, it's just a three-point hitch. No real hydraulic hoses or anything. Oh, man. I can't make it. Ugh. So frustrating. Alright. Let's get the impact and let's get these tires on. Alright. So we put the fenders back on. I know it kind of looks... I don't know if I like the fenders or not. Ah, well, they're staying. All right, um, let's get out there before Jim thinks we're slacking off. Jim always thinks he's the hardest worker around this farm. I know, he's probably right. Driving on the side of the hill here. I'm kind of glad I have them uh, front duels on there. Might help me from uh, sliding down the hill. If any of you ever experienced driving in a tractor or piece of equipment and sliding into a ditch or down a hill, you might want to wear the brown pants when you're doing that because uh, it gets a little uh, messy. Oh no. Will she do her? Oh man. She is screaming for everything she's got. Ooh, we 
might have to call the tune guys out here because whew, I don't know if we're going to get this field done. Definitely gonna have to bring the fuel tank out to this field because whoo, she's a screaming. Probably the hard pan on this field is pretty dang compacted, either that or I seriously need to do a tune up to this old 8310. She is a struggling. Jim is definitely gonna blow me away. Little does he know, once he gets done, he's gonna have to take over because. My uh, truck will be ready at for me at the dealership, and uh, I'm not going to be late for that. No way, no how. Alright, so we actually made the switcheroo already. Jim actually wanted to run the 8310. He said I didn't know what I was doing. He's probably right. Uh, he, I think he is uh, running in a higher gear than I was able to do at least. Anyways, I love this 4755. So, the good thing is, is we just got one last pass here. And then uh, we can head to the dealership. Definitely got to do a little uh, field extension here. So, beans, this is an interstate. The state actually owns some of this ground, but a real farmer abuses, uses as much land as possible and then gets told to, hey, hey, you kind of got too close to the road. At least, that's what I'm going to do. Hopefully, this isn't too serious of a charge. Alright, squeeze this big demon back into the yard. We have to unhitch the Ford. I really, I mean, I, I wish this thing would fold somehow because, uh, it is awful hard to get around, let's just say that. Yes, this is my real life in real life truck. Best thing about this game is you get to play with a truck you might own in real life. I know, you guys all thought I would buy another GMC. Yes, so here she is. So this isn't exactly my truck, but it's a Ram blacked out so all my decals are all blacked out here i'll just show you a picture of it quick so this is a bragging this is an exact aftermarket bumpers i have i have the aev aftermarket bumpers they're a little bit for uh, i guess uh, mudding and rock climbing and uh, my front bumper is on the way it's probably going to take a year and a half before it gets here thank you supply problems I'm not trying to brag here, so hopefully this is not coming off that way. But when you get to play with the truck you have in real life, and uh, you're doing it while you own a farm of your dreams, it just makes this game that much better. Thank you all for watching, and this is Stevio, and I am out. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe. Now I just gotta find a modder that'll make my Zack truck in game. The only problem is I just got so many uh, modifications I want to do to my trucks, like 35 inch tires, tonneau cover, oh man, maybe they could just do it all as options.